So, welcome back mga kadii. Again, we will solve another problem in differential equation when we will use method of variable separable. In our example, this time we need to determine the particular solution of e x plus y dx minus e raised to negative 2y dy equals to 0 such that y equal to 0 when x is equivalent to 0. Unlike previous example wherein we solve the general solution this time we will solve the particular solution wherein meron tayong given condition so gawin muna natin is to rewrite the problem so we have e x plus y dx minus e raised to negative 2y dy is equivalent to 0 so, kung mapapansin natin, our equation contains x and y in our first term, while in our second term, we have y alone. So, yung second term natin, wala na tayong problem. Again, ang may problem tayo is our first term. Kaya lang, nahirapan tayo dito kasi magkasama sila sa taas. So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, we'll use the product of power property. Ano yung product of power property? So, kung meron tayong xm times xn, we have the same base. Ang mangyari lang dyan is xm plus n. In our example, or in our problem, we have ex plus y. So, ang mangyari lang dyan, that is also equivalent to ex times ey. Sabi nga natin, due to products of power property times dx minus e raised to negative 2y dy is equivalent to 0. So, our first term involves y function. So, kailangan mawala nga yan. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we need to divide e raised to y to our first term as well as in our second term and our last term. So, pag Dinibay natin by e raised to y yan, it will be cancelled out. So, mangyari na lang dyan is e x dx. So, okay na yan. Ang problem natin is ano mangyayari pag meron tayong e raised to negative 2y all over e raised to y. So, meron naman tayong tinatawag na quotient of power property. Ano naman yon? So, pag meron daw tayong xm and we divide it by xn, ang nangyayari naman daw sa kanya is xm minus n. So, yung first term, okay na tayo dyan. It is function of x alone. So, we have e x dx integral minus in our second term, that is negative 2y yung ating m. Yung y natin is, o yung n natin is y. So, that is integral ng e raised to negative 2y minus y dy is equivalent to 0. So, rewrite lang natin yung first term. ex dx minus integral ng e raised to negative 3y dy is equivalent to 0. So, balikan naman natin yung properties na exponential. Under integral ng eu, where u is the function, Ang integral niyan ay e u plus c. So, in our problem, ang u natin in our first term is x at ang derivative niya ay dx. So, wala tayong problema dito. So, ang integral nito is simply e x. So, e x lang yan. Then, dito naman, Ang u natin is negative 3y. So, kung ang u natin is negative 3y, sulat ko lang dito, so, ang derivative natin is negative 3 dy. So, kung mapansin natin, our second term, wala siyang negative 3 dy. So, kailangan mag-multiply tayo ng negative 3. Since in na natin yung equation, we need to multiply negative 1 third. So, Negative times negative is positive one-third 
EU. Kasi EU, DU na to. So, we have 1 third E raised to negative 3Y is equivalent to C. So, yan na ba yung final answer? So, hindi pa. Since our problem, hinahanap natin is particular solution. So, may given tayo na pag yung Y daw natin ay 0 or pag yung X natin ay 0, ang value daw ng Y natin is 0. So, i-write lang natin yung ating naging general solution kanina, which is, ano nga yan? EX raised to 1, or EX plus 1 third, E raised to negative 3Y is equivalent to C. So, sabi kanina, when Y equals to 0, or Y equals to 0, when X is equivalent to 0. So, we need to substitute the value of Y and X to our general solution to obtain the particular solution. So, when we substitute the value of x and y, so, 1 third e raised to negative 3 times 0, the value of our c is equivalent to 1 plus 1 third. Or, that's simply equivalent to c, and c is equivalent to 4 third. Then, we will substitute c to our C in a general solution. So, the final answer is EX plus 1 third E raised to negative 3Y is equivalent to 4 third. Or, we can simplify the equation by multiplying both sides by 3. So, we have 3EX plus E raised to negative 3Y is equivalent to 4. So, that's the final answer for our number 4. So, thank you.